Hey guys, Bony McBonich in here, and welcome to a game called Suggestion Box, a game by Bitosu. Now let's go over how to play again. Affected by economic factors, affected by reputation. Now I, I haven't actually seen what this game is about, and I fairly remember finding it in the horror section of Game Jolt, but let's just dive on and see what it's about. Let's see, employee's guide, yes, no. Overall frame, bro. No, no, no. What a war you know. One more. Make computers dumber so they don't add smart humans. Ah, uh, no. Jamie Willows. Yeah, Seattle, Washington. Hey, she's a yoga instructor. Instructor. God damn it. Provide fair insurance to employees. Ah, uh, no. Jim Slim. Start a pyramid scheme. No. What the fuck? Those are illegal. Dog show judge. Car driven by voice command. Uh, yeah, sure. Voice driven car. Oh, fuck. Causes accident for man with mumbly voice. President Hugh McSmith, or possibly Huey McShee. He was rather hard to understand. Found himself driving head on into traffic after his newly purchased Oberon voice driven car. Misheard his commands and took a Oh, fuck. Okay. Smartphone for cats. Mm, bad idea. <laughs> I, I, I can't. A uh, fine. Cats ignore phones and humans that bought them. The new Doberon phone, the first specifically designed for cats, was initially met with praise from cat lovers nationwide. But as cat owners began to bring these phones home, they came to the realization that no product will change the fact that cats will never particularly care for their owners, no matter how much, um, hotel for birds. Uh, sure, why not? Birds nationwide are unable to pay for bird hotel. Fuck, our stocks went down, but our customer approval is up. Birds Nationwide jumped with joy upon hearing Oberon's plans to construct a hotel specifically for birds. But after catching word of the hefty prices and they refused to uh, accept bird seed as payment, hundreds of birds found themselves unable to foot the bills for their stay at the hotel, which has spawned an entire subculture of bird spreading methods for entering and exiting the. Use eggs instead of cardboard boxes for shipping. That. No, that's stupid. A robot that reads for you. Ah, uh, sure. Sure. Average amount of books read per adult skyrockets! Hey, we did right! After the release of Oberon's news project, the Auto Reader, the average amount of books read per American adult year skyrocketed from 2 to 3 to 6,7342 6 within the amount of people setting their auto readers to maximum speed 24 7. Americans can now finally appear to be informed without having to actually read computer program that writes movie scripts. No. If you've ever seen those kind of YouTube videos, you know that that goes bad. From Biff Bradley. Instant noodles that is actually ready instantly, huh? Yeah, go for it. Oberon, instant noodles, shatter space-time continuum. Time to get the foot into the food industry. Oh, fuck, we fucked up bad. Oh, no. Oberon, attempting to get its foot into the food industry, released a brand of instant noodles that claimed to be done in nanoseconds when Oberon allowed reporters to test the product. The noodles instead vanished into the air, sending vibrations that could be felt worldwide. The right concrete answer is hire more clowns. Uh, no. No, that's, that's a bad idea. Leak a couple of s No! Fucking Oswald, you goddamn scammer. I know, I know what you're up to. Force customers to listen to the terms and service. In its entirety before startup. Ah, uh, you know what? What could go wrong? Ah, oh, see, it went it went down a little. We're fine. Oberon products capped by painfully long startup. Okay, we fucked up. Forces ghosts to file. You know what? I'm curious. I'm curious to see what'll happen. Let's do it. Wait, our stock went up? After Oberon released Lace Invention, a device in which harnesses spirits of the dead so that they may file the taxes of the living, thousands have rushed in to file anti spiritual label reforms. Prohibiting the harnessing of their spiritual energy after dead for any busy work, including tedious tax forms leading to make computers mi No! Jim Von Weissen, you fucking tard! Why would you ever think that's a good idea? Phones that. Okay, no, no, no. Tom! Tom! This is how we get Terminator event scenarios, you fucking idiot. Fish brain computer. You know what could go wrong? Oh my god, our stock went down dramatically! The rest release of the latest over on PC fish tech, which appears to be nothing but the head of a carp submerged into a large vat of insulated goo connected to a monitor, has been met with several important compliments 
and the hundred people actually bought it. Their chief complaint being the putrid stench of the actual fish head. Oh, fuck. Device that smells fear. Yes. Yay, we went up! Horror movies now market using Oberon Fear Ratings. Spooky Goblin House 5, the latest in the horror film series, has employed a fresh new technique to market itself to the public. By using Oberon's fear detector on testing audience, the film can scientifically prove its high fear factor. Summon to among audience, please give me a job. Kellen. Delivery man. You know what? Why not? Oh my god, our stocks fucking failed. Wyoming delivery man named new senior exec. Oh my, I didn't, I didn't mean make you fucking ex senior executive. I thought they meant like, oh, just you use the packages. You're fucking delivery boy. No, uh, what the fuck? Ah. Uh. Our 25 year old delivery man living in the small city has been named senior executive today despite the fact that in his experience in the world businesses, the one time when he talked to a grocery store manager about the pears, he thought smelled funny. Oh, fuck. You know what? No. Francis, listen, I, I can't make your dog CFO. That, that's just a bad idea. I, I can't. Quota 4 a.m. approved. Computer with a. No! Invest millions in kibble. I've talked uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, I, I saw that coming. No, why did I approve of that? Computer burns down has... Fuck, I misclicked. Ugh. You know what? What, what could go wrong? See, look. Fish can talk to human now. This makes fish happy. Very happy. Now fish can write. Fish write good. Very good. Fish heard journalists. Water gates. Fish good at water and gates. Very good. Fish get paid very well for water and gates. So many brown pellets. Very okay tasting. Fish understand that he must write certain amount of human words. Fish running out of good ones. Fish very scared. Can I borrow 10 bucks? Let's pay back uh, no, no. Elliot Tiddlywinks. Are, are you out of your fucking mind? No, no. You fucking dirty commie. That's a bad idea. Fake license maybe. I, oh my god. Okay, fine. Well, I'll do fake license. Did I win? Approval, high score. We did pretty okay. Let's go to- let's replay. Let's try this again. Provide- no. Device that smells fear, yes! Power your offices with electric robot. No, that, that, that's a terrible idea. Virtual pizza, I- You know what, I'm curious, sure. Oh my god, our stocks failed. World renowned food critic dies attempting to eat virtual pizza app. Personality and food critic Fry Gianaro tragically died while recording his hit show, Probably Food, either today. The cause of his sudden death has been attributed to his son attempting to eat his latest app a title. No. Leak a couple of. No. 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 Fuck, fine. Sex instead of cardboard boxes for shipping. Why not? Eggshell packaging shatters instantly. Yeah, what a surprise. Oh, fuck it. I, I can't say no anymore! That that worked? Discount PCs charges users thousands yearly. New line of PCs which boasted record low prices deceive thousands into the system payment that charges them for each time they power up the computer, costing consumers potentially thousands each year. And discount that writes movie scripts. No. Bad bad idea. No. File a lawsuit? Um Sure, why not? Unable to provide a reason for a billion dollar lawsuit. Oh god, first day of the massive lawsuit, Oberon filed against competitors, Synergetic Sinks. Oberon lawyer Dan Stark found himself unable to answer the judge's opening questions about the purpose of the lawsuit. It would... Lawsuit, smartphone for cats? No. No. Yes. Computer, no. Uh, fine. I score 350. Okay, we... You know what? I'm gonna say yes to everything. Why not? Let, let's see how bad it can be. Yes. Yes. Oberon computer vaporizes many unfortunate customers. Death tolls are in the hundreds as customers attempt to power on their new Oberon computers, only to find out that they now emit gamma rays so intense they actually vaporize the unfortunate buyers. Oberon attorney Dan Stark states that the company clearly advertises as a feature and therefore, yes. Throw money at customers, yes. Oberon literally throws bags of money at passers by. The most patronizing and blunt marketing scheme in decades, Oberon representatives were seen throwing bags of money out from their company headquarters, creating a rather, rather large crowd. The money have led to riots minutes later, but besides that, recent polls have indicated that the stunt created a dramatic. Sure. 
multi-million dollar lawsuit amidst the leaks. It's under fire from every corner of the media after dousing the users of the show. The well, appears to be an inside source. The PR manager confirmed the connection between the leak and its employees, but did not reply to questions about the initiatives. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Force ghosts to file my taxes. Let's see what our score is. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, 90. Oh. Yeah, well, that's Suggestion Box, a game by Beat Tosu. This was actually pretty fun to play. And I kind of wish there was a little more to it. But this is all we get. This has been Bony McBonaton here. Have a good day now and goodbye.